I hate that scoreboard scrapper, don't play the game, and then roll it down for Callista like a psycho is a winning strat. It's so stupidly strong. You are rewarded for, for not playing the game. I have no doubt that my opponent is good at the game. I just like think it's so lame that strats like this are viable. Th this guy isn't the only one doing it. There's so many people that are just like, yep, I have one bow. I'm gonna just not play the game and then pray I hit Callista. And then if I do, I get first. I hate that it's a viable strat. In general, I strongly believe that in TFT, like not playing the game should never be like the right play. What's the solution for this? I don't know. Unfortunately, getting first dibs is just too good, right? Everybody knows Callista is really good. It, it's not going to be Callista every patch. Next patch, maybe like Rise is really good, and then people are going to open Fort Rise, right? People are going to find the best build, and then people are going to just open Fort and force it. It's always going to happen. The only solution is like really good balance. If they get like the balance perfect, then these strats won't work anymore because like the gap in power between you and everybody else isn't going to be that high. I have a sword. Lean towards AD. Oh, it's hard to lean towards AD with these units, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Could make econ. Ah, uh, I'm so weak. I need money. Oh, that is the opposite of money. Okay. I think I just have to reroll Magic Wand and pray. Magic Wand is so bad here. It's like a win streak augment. Hello, J Shift. Hello, Will Off. Thanks for the subs. Pray that there's something behind here that just gives me money. Bro, everybody's loose streaking. Wait, everybody's loose streaking? Wait. Wait, if everybody's loose streaking. Like, I literally scouted, I saw open fort, open fort, and like fully unupgraded boards. Like, escort quest, I'm actually a psychopath. Escort quest, when my build is. Like, it was two Zoe's, or one, one Lilia, two Zoe's. No, two Lilia's, one Zoe, that was my build. Wait, I might actually be able to make it work. Okay, so. Here goes everything. I need to. This is gonna be a psychopathic play, but I think it actually can work. Uh, level up. Don't worry. And then. I lend my aid. Hmm. And then, uh, the best item I can slam is probably Steric Nunu. Morellos is the best overall item I can make here. It's Ultra Flex. Yeah, Morellos allows me to play so many things here. Sterics is the strongest unit or item right now because it goes it's an item for my best unit. I think I go Morellos. Tread carefully. Who wants a piece of this? I'm sure slam it. Let's do more damage to these open quarters. Dude, the fact that this might work is honestly insane. I had the worst board ever. And I was like, man, Esther Quest is the opposite of money. And then I saw everybody's playing weak boards. Everybody's open forwarding. Right after I just spent 20 minutes complaining about how strong open forwarding is, I open up to a lobby where four players are open for it. Are they still open for it? You aren't. You aren't. You aren't. You aren't. You are. You are. Oh, you bought units too. Okay, only two open forwarders now. 
Okay, by the way, if I get top four, it's 1100 LP. Then we can play some Mecha Pillum. Oh, thank you, 99 cannot go. I'm glad you're liking the hoodie. It's a nice hoodie. Okay, if I'm a literal psycho, I could level. But it's like, what would you even level for? You would level for like second to Ziggs. Nah, I, I think you just have faith that you'll win. My board's definitely not bad. When was the last time you played t a non-TFT game on stream that wasn't for a sponsor event? Yesterday. I played Mecha Bell and it was great. Oh fuck, this guy's strong. Oh, he's actually quite powerful. Is there any chance that Nunu 2 clutches this? Honestly, maybe. Maybe, maybe. One more ult. Yes. Come on, Morellos! No! It's so close. Wow, that's actually a level diff. Olaf. Wait, it's like a full pivot in one shot. Wait. Dude, I'm I'm so sad that I lost that. It's not the end of the world. Like, proccing Escort Quest three times is already pretty good. But, oh, it was so close. Alright. Early Olaf. This guy's like the worst unit in the game. But, uh, like, surely early Olaf is playable, right? Surely. Okay. Try the Olaf Chrono Flex. I've never played it before. Is it good? I'm guessing you play Zillion because he's Frost Chrono, and then I mean we'll see. I there there is no like specific build for this. You just like flex it up. I need a sword or a bow here. Oh, sword, perfect. Oh yeah, wait. It could be spin to win. Every mistake is a lesson. Who wants? It could be spin to win. When was the last time you played a, a non-TFT game for a sponsor? Yeah, besides yesterday with Nekabellum, I don't know. My stream has mostly just been TFT. If I'm a literal psychopath, I think I, I level here. Uh, I like the grab bag. I don't like Stan United. Oh, Hunting Frenzy? I'm down. I am diggity down. We commit. Time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a Frost, Hunter, Honeymancy. Yeah, I, I like it. What's the build? Anyone know? I, I'm probably just gonna play flex. I'm just gonna like push tempo and then play whatever I can to support my Olaf. I sit here thinking about how much money I'd have if I kept my streak, but I shouldn't, I shouldn't do that. I should uh, just be happy that I'm hitting stuff at all. Wait a second. Double down golden quest? Uh oh. That's actually uh, an insane combo. Uh, I, don't, I don't think you play that. I need units in the front. The Sugarcraft stack if you don't have active. No. Wait, double down golden quest is actually crazy. I fear what that guy's gonna have. Also, I just realized this guy's frost spat, so he's looking for Olaf. This is not going to be an uncontested Olaf game, but I have an early Olaf, there was no way I was not taking this. Dude, th this guy is also inting. Fortune and Golden Quest, holy crap. What a crazy game. I'm just gonna try to save as much HP as possible. I might even get second place, because uh, all the open forders, and all but one are going to kill each other. One's going to hit really hard, and he's going to kill all the rest. But yeah, I think I just go nine. I'm kind of forced to play Hunters, though, because of Hunting Frenzy, but maybe I just drop down to two Hunters endgame. Maybe it's just Olaf Twitch. Because usually, like, Olaf's items go really well on Briar. Okay, how about Conjure Emblem? 
Yeah, yeah. Guys, what about Conjure Emblem? Wait, that was a sword with a verse. Yeah, Conjure Spat into a random Frost or Hunting Spat. Dude, I mean, imagine if this gives me an Olaf. Damn it. Two equals two. Can't even really play this verse. Keep still. Crap. I'm definitely gonna lose to the win streaker. Should beat everybody else. Dude, this guy's open forwarding as well. Or not playing a board for trait tracker. Okay, well hopefully they all kill each other and I just get like a, a fourth, third, or second for free. I'm like not even really playing a board, it's all one stars. It's just one stars with synergy. I'm level 740. Holy crap. Okay, I'm down to roll until charm here. Yo! Yo! Okay, I can't play these guys, but... It... Yeah, I'm definitely like locked into... Uh, playing Hunter because of Hunting Frenzy, but I can play with Morgana. Okay, 5 Streak is so huge here. But yeah, we'll play like Olaf, Frost, Preserver. No! No! He killed my dummy! He killed my dummy! What's the point? What's the point? My 3 gold. All right, I kind of want to just hold his Varus at hostage. I kind of want to just hold this guy. All right, I'm gonna level up. I need an Olaf, and then what? Rakan, and just like I'll just buy good units and put the good units together. A lot of end game plays you can do here. Maybe even play Swain Nico. Red buff. I'm a little bit hesitant to make a hurricane here because uh, the stats on Olaf say hurricane is good, but the stats on every melee or every fit physical carry say hurricane's good, and I think it's because of the uh, category five. It's not lucky gloves. Um, it could be a new recruit. Ow! Like, is it what the forge? My items are pretty good. I feel like it could also be called to chaos. It could be all of these. Uh, my Olaf items are really good though, so I don't really need the bailout. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that was easy. Oh! No fucking way. Wait, no way I get like the Ultra Bis Olaf dummy. Like, you couldn't handpick better items. If I got an augment that says pick two support items for your Olaf. These are exactly the two I would have picked. He gets a QSS, and he gets a built-in Titans. Dude. Alright, 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 we go nine, we go nine. Like, look at my front line. My board is literally just like all shitter one stars, and then a random Olaf. Oh, and Kog'Maw, sorry. That's rude of me to forget his contributions. But yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, I don't even need a front line. This Olaf will just 1v9. Morgana actually is, like, a good use of the other half. One more, it'll be better on Morg. Uh, maybe once I get more items, but I think she's gonna die before she can really make use of it. Kog'Maw will live for a while and can keep applying Morellos. Oh, I'll give up my dummy. Oh my god, just look at him go. He's just playing Leapfrog! 
They killed my dummy though. It might be worth it for me to start frontlining the dummy. But yeah, like if Olaf dies, Kog'Maw could realistically clutch the fight with four hunter. What item do I want here? I want tank items, so crown guard most likely. What a game. What a game. Chain. Chain. Yes. Okay, that's huge. I don't understand how Olaf is not ranked higher as a unit. He seems so damn good that he can leap across the map. Uh, some- oh, let me roll for charm. What was this again? It was JG and that's it. Oh, that kind of sucks. Okay, I guess I'll give it to you. Okay, I might be down to do this now. Okay, so the reason why Olaf is not rated higher, by the way, uh, it's because when he's good, when he when he can activate his win con, which is like get his ult off, become unccable, and then like life steal tank everybody, and then jump around, it's awesome. But how do you actually get there? Right? I got really fucking lucky, right? I got the Hunting Frenzy, I got really early Olaf too, I got really good items on him, and I got the literal best support golem you could have possibly gotten, right? All that, and he looks unbeatable. But what about the other games where you don't get good combat augments, and you have an Olaf, but he can't get the first kill and start snowballing, right? So like, that's why Olaf's not rated higher on the tier list. There are plenty of units where if you get the exact perfect setup, it's really good. Roll for Charm. <laughs> No way. I actually shouldn't have bought it yet. I should have waited until the last second. All right, go get him, ass laugh. Oh, I'm really sorry about your Varus. It'd be a shame if something were to happen to him before he gets his cast off. Actually, you killed my dummy. I feel zero sympathy. I think he actually won me nines this. Look at that jump! Look at the moves! Faker! What was that? Right, that was awesome. I've never seen an Olaf so handsome. Out of curiosity, how is my Olaf contester doing? Because maybe I'd go for Olaf 3. Oh, speaking of Olaf 3. He has zero Olafs. Oh, he actually doesn't need it. Okay, but that means I can play Olaf 3. Cool. Alright, I'm down. I really need a frontliner. So let's let's start thinking about my comp. What unit can I play in the front? I actually don't know. Camille for Chrono. Maybe Fiora 2 randomly. I don't know. Oh, maybe I could tech in Shapeshifters. Maybe I play Diana, by Frost. And oh, no even shroud. Okay, well, I already have anti-heal. All I can really do is just war mogs. Oh yeah, wait, why am I not playing Rakan? This guy is so strong. It'd be crazy if something were to beat him. Really crazy. Really, really crazy. Ah, I got so excited. Okay, I've got a lot of HP. Uh, I might be able to play for 10. Okay, I, I think this comp, if I can make it to 10 and then play Briar, it's like perfect. Okay, wait, there's actually another idea. Okay, wait, there, there's one other idea I'm having. Uh, you could sell Jinx Kogma. They don't do anything other than provide Hunter at this point, right? For Nasus 2 and then Die, uh, Taric. Uh, then I don't have enough damage. Although, like, I'm not really expecting to win, honestly, unless I hit Olaf 3. I think I do it. Okay, let's roll for Nasus 2 and then um, swap it in. Hands off my meals. 
I demand tribute. Victory awaits. My fire burns. Hmm, I feel a blizzard. I'm, I'm a little dizzy. I expect to lose. All, all the remaining players are all really strong. Remember what happened earlier? Everybody was like open fording. So everybody's hitting their boards now. So now it's just like, a, how, can I save HP and get second? Or can Olaf pull a literal miracle and just go to the back line and kill the Callista? That'd be crazy. Wait, no, no, he, damn it. It was, so, it was actually so close. You skipped the Tarek? Yeah, it's because I realized that I had Bastion. Or uh, I had Preserver. Oh, actually. I see my Tarek right here. Isn't your Wincon Diana 2 with items? Uh, it's either Diana 2, Morgana 2, Briar 2, you know. You know the drill. Hands off my meal! Alright, definitely too poor to go for Olaf 3. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's my bad. It's like awkward atomization. I was supposed to use. I was supposed to pop the Bastion spat in to the Morgana when combining her. What? How did you just print me two Briars? Oh wait, no. One of them. One of them's fake. Wait. Oh my God. Bastion Morg. Borg. Oh wait. I don't know. Why I didn't buy that. Flies like oh, bye-bye, Nasus. Like All right, well, hello, new Wincon. I am only as wild as magic. Challenge accepted. Phantom Claw or Zillion? Probably Zillion. Dude, it's actually crazy. I'm hitting everything. I literally hit everything. Well, except for Diana, Swain, and Bard, but like, this is crazy. Well, I've guaranteed 1100 LP. I don't think I can beat whoever the last man standing is. Again, everybody was open for it, but I can definitely save HP to a second. If I wanted to go for the win, it had to be through like Olaf 3, but I was too poor for that. I rolled looking for it, and then I didn't find it. Maybe I do win. All right, the last man standing is double down golden quest. Fuck, how do I beat this guy? He's got a, the Zanyas actually protects him so well. What can I look for? I think this is like a damage race. I need more, more damage if possible, because this Zerath and Ryze are gonna both scale up. I have to like shred through. I need a, I need like Spark or uh, even Shroud, I think. And then I need Diana too. Okay, I'm not even kidding. This sounds incredibly troll, but I think it might actually be Gwinsu's. I'm not kidding. Gwinsu's to scale up to infinity. All right, let me roll down to 10. Try to hit a couple upgrades. Okay, Briar with Gwinsu's might actually scale and win. We take Gwinsu's because we recognize that this fight is just like unusually long and he's playing to scale. So I might as well play to scale as well. Wait, I might have done it. I might have done it. Is he dead? He's not dead. Okay. The Briar with Gwinsu's actually kind of popping off here. Two champions get a full item. No, I need one that does damage. This is so fun. Strength is the only teacher. Fuck. Okay. The next time I get a good charm, I think I win.
Wait, this tower is huge. Uh oh. Okay. Get a third item on Briar. Get like a Titans or a Lost Whisper on Briar, or even Shroud, honestly. Okay, you can win this round, it's fine. Okay, still got two tries. This place needs a harsh winter. Salvager? I'm pretty sure there's something here. Wait, I got I gotta think, I gotta think. I think I made it worse. Right. Who let me cook? I think I made it worse. I, I was like, I need even shroud. Why did I make it GS instead of a BT? I got dizzy. I was like, I need even shroud. I need even shroud. What did I do, man? Wait, this is so much better. I completely destroyed him. Hey, yo, I'm actually, hey, I cooked. Double even shroud pivot to win. You go, I, I'm like, I wish I had an even shroud, so I made two. Okay, no, even shroud was definitely like absolutely needed though, but I think I was supposed to make a BT instead of GS. No, I think GS was also good because it was a race to kill the front line. So like you needed the GS. It's just like, I don't know what I was supposed to slam to not end up with two even shrouds. Maybe instead of uh, Edge of Night, I could have made a BT and a crown guard. Yeah, I beat him while being a charm down. That's crazy. I was sitting here saying how like everybody's open forwarding, everybody's playing for a giga strong late game board, and I'm gonna just like sit here and bleed out slowly. And then we we got like ultra high roll this support dummy, and then we hit all of our win cons on nine, and we still won out anyway.